Get your box bit and remove all the screws from the curtain tracks left on the wall from yesterday's project. Now take a big slotted screwdriver and burnish each screw hole to remove any lifted laminate. Gently scrape them clean and flat. Use some kind of solvent or cleaner to wipe away any builder's markings. You will need to depose some sort of hole cover. Little adhesive white dots or plastic caps like these. I used a small drop of crazy glue on the end of each one before I pushed it into the hole. These give the wall a cleaner, more finished look. Now put the factory curtain loops back on the window frame. This is where you can roll up and store the waterproof skirt. See that Velcro loop used to hold the shower tubing? Well, we need one for the new shower liner we just installed. Cut two pieces of Velcro, one male, one female, to equal lengths. Peel back an inch of the adhesive backing cover off each piece and stick them together, adhesive to adhesive. Then peel back on the opposite ends and make a little hem fold to help you grab the tab. Drill a small pilot hole in the location seen here and also drill through the Velcro. Attach to the wall with a small screw and a decorative washer. This is how you can store the shower curtain as well as the extra shower rod. You can buy this kind of Velcro fastener from West Marine and I'm sure many other places. Or you make your own like we did here. Next, make a vertical cut in the bottom of the shower curtain where the floor meets the black tank. Then continue the cut horizontally to the back edge of the shower curtain as illustrated here. Now I went ahead and mounted the shampoo dispenser on the wall just under the mirror. With this new open shower design, you can stand or sit facing the sink and have all your particulars right there within easy reach. Oh, I can't wait. Now I know what you're thinking. What kind of an imbecile would mount that thing right under the mirror? How is he going to refill it? There's no room. Well, you've been around long enough to know how. I mounted that thing with Velcro. I staggered male and female across the back to ensure a good solid connection. Oh, it's solid all right. I couldn't get it off the wall. Here's another clever update. More Velcro on the back of a first aid kit. Then it can be mounted under the cab shelf within easy reach, but out of the way. And it's fun! How many times has your night curtain blown crazy while you are driving with the windows open? Wrap a couple of those West Marine Velcro straps around each curtain and they will behave as they should. I've been battling the paper towel dispenser and the dispenser is winning. I don't want it in the way. I don't want it on the counter. I've been keeping the roll in the under sink cabinet and I don't like that either. Now I think I have a solution that works. Don't commit to any one place. Mount it anywhere with magnets. Strong magnets. 